The convicted child molester who just moved to Providence faced a judge once again this morning. Richard Gardner is accused of providing false information on an official document, his application for a marriage license. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us live at court with developments. Well, Brian, that notorious sex offender Richard Gardner will stay behind bars for the next two weeks until a probation violation hearing on November 19th. That decision just coming down within the last 20 minutes from a Superior Court judge after Gardner was arraigned this morning on new charges after he was arrested on Friday. Cranston police say they discovered he wrote his mother's Weymouth address on his application for a marriage license instead of his address in Providence. So he was charged with two misdemeanor counts of filing false documents and this morning he pleaded not guilty to both of those charges. His bail was set at $1,000 with surety but again since he was on probation after being released from prison for child molestation he is now being held as a violator and this morning in that violation hearing Gardner's attorney Bob Mann said this was all just a misunderstanding. He said he had his old Massachusetts license. It was his only photo ID so he showed that to the clerk in Cranston and that's why he put the wrong address on that marriage license application but the attorney general's office said he is a danger to the public and the judge agreed at least for now for the next two weeks. Again Gardner will remain at the ACI until another violation hearing. Now his new wife who he just married a couple weeks ago was in court today. She came out just about five minutes ago. She didn't want to say anything on behalf of her husband. We'll have much more on this tonight on Eyewitness News starting live at five. Live in Warwick, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.